In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the button maker top assembly. And that's the this file here, top assembly button maker tray. You notice I have all the parts lined up, lot, uh, arranged for you, and they're on this uh, work plane. The work plane is tabletop, all these constraints constrain the parts to the tabletop. I'm going to go ahead and delete this work plane and that'll delete all the constraints so all the parts are in constraint now. But I, I do want to start out by uh, I'm going to leave my base where it's located now and I'm going to go to the base assembly and I'm going to ground it make sure that it's grounded and that it cannot be moved. I'll start out by placing this uh, small washer onto it do a constraint, I'll zoom in, and pick uh, the inner diameter, one the lower inner diameter. I'm going to start out by placing this. Uh, washer on top of the base. I'm going to create a constraint. It's going to be an insert constraint. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select this inside diameter, lower diameter. Zoom in here and put this on the center post. Place it here. You notice that it, the washer is actually underneath the surface, the top surface of the base. So I'm going to reverse it, flip it around, and note, you notice now it's sitting on top. You can actually see it. And apply and cancel. I'm going to place this uh, lower die assembly onto the onto the washer, not onto the base, but onto the washer. Do another constraint. It's going to be a mate constraint. Point to the bottom. Zoom in, and I'm going to place it on this washer, and hit apply, and uh, uh, one more constraint. It's a, uh, just a regular mate constraint. I'm going to mate that axis to that axis, hit apply, and cancel. I notice that uh, it escaped. That if I grab this part, I could rotate it, but it'll rotate. It'll rotate right through this collision here with the post. So I'm going to add another constraint. So then I'm going to uh, do something I haven't shown you before, but this tangent constraint. I'm going to make this face tangent to this post. So if you see, look now, you'll see that the part is um, hit apply and cancel. So if I look from the top, zoom in, you can see that the part is uh, touching the post tangent to it. Next, I'm going to insert this uh, upper die onto the assembly. Do another constraint. I'm going to make this surface with this surface here. Hit apply. I'm going to align that axis with that axis. Hit apply. Hit escape. You notice that this could still this can still rotate, so I'm going to add another constraint. And I'm going to align that axis with this axis. And hit apply and cancel.
I'm going to do another constraint. I'm going to constraint these two uh, nuts. I'm going to do an insert command. And I'm going to select this diameter here, this edge diameter. And select this diameter here. Hit apply, cancel. And I'll leave it to you to place the other hex nut on top of that. Next, I'm going to place these this part here. I'm going to select the axis of this part and constrain it to the axis of this part, this axis here. I'm going to constrain this this plane here, the middle plane. If I move this part out and hit cancel here or apply, and hit apply and cancel. Now so we'll drag this part out a bit. I want to align this plane here with the center. This small plane here with the center of this part here. The plane that bisects this part here with the plane that bisects that part there. So I'm going to do another constraint. I'm going to go to my upper die. To the upper die center support. And look for this mid plane. I'm going to select the mid plane. You can see it's highlighted here. And I'm going to zoom in and select this mid plane here. Hit apply. And you notice now it cancel. Now that the part, if you look from the top, that that pin is centered on this uh, on this upper die support. I'm going to place these parts. I'm going to do another constraint. Uh, it's going to be a mate. I'm going to point to this surface. This surface here. Hit apply, and I'm going to align this axis, the axis of the clip, with the axis of the shaft. Hit apply and cancel. And I'll ask you to uh, do the same with this other, this other clip to place it on that, out the, on the other end of the shaft. I'm going to constrain the handle onto this uh, onto this uh, upper die support. 
create another constraint. It's going to be a regular mate constraint. Now I'm going to line the midplane of this handle with the midplane of that uh, upper die uh, support. If I go to my to my handle assembly. And select this midplane. You see the midplane is highlighted there. The midplane. Come to the upper die, the upper die center support, and select the midplane here. You notice the midplane is selected there. And you notice that now the handle and the, um, the handle is aligned and centered on the midplane. But looking at it, it's um, in a reversed orientation. So I'm going to flip it around. And now I can see that uh, hit apply. Uh, even though I'm going to rotate it, go to a free rotate and rotate it around. is oriented the way I want it. Let me go ahead and create another constraint. This is just going to be a regular mate constraint and I'm going to align this axis with uh, this axis here. Hit apply. No, cancel. You notice the handle is now on that pin and it could rotate, but it rotates right through the other bodies, and I don't want to do that. So for temporarily, I'm going to show you how to create uh, more complex constraints in the future, in uh, a future video. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to create a constraint. It's going to be another tangent constraint. I'm going to make this surface tangent to this outer surface of this pin. Hit apply, cancel. And now if I view by this face, just to look at it. Uh, you can see that, in fact, it is tangent, that this handle, the surface here is tangent to that pin. So you're going to want to save your part uh, under the same name, just do a save, and uh, position your part on the screen you're going to take a screenshot of it by going to uh, export to PDF and you'll, that'll generate a PDF of this screenshot. You're going to submit that screenshot to LMS uh, to complete your assignment.